I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to lie. I have not been a fan of the Sony Spider-Man less universe. Venom, uh, Morbius, uh, Venom 2 was okay. I enjoyed that a little bit more than Venom. But overall, guys, this has not been the universe for me. I've not been enjoying it. For some reason, Sony has taken this universe and they're like, let's throw it back to the 90s and 2000 feeling kind of comic book movies. And that's proven to be deliberate because we just got the first trailer for Madam Web. And that's exactly how it felt. Let me just break down kind of the pros and cons of this trailer really quick. So the the pro of this was the premise was kind of enticing to me. I, I liked how the trailer started off specifically with um, this evil Spider-Man. That's just what I'm going to call him going into the diner after Dakota Johnson and stabbing her. And then she like flashes back, goes back in time and, and relives that moment again. That was kind of interesting. It's not like we haven't seen that before. It reminded me very much of happy death day, but it also had a little bit of like a horror element to it that I, that I thought they might be going more of a slasher direction based off that opening of the trailer. So that kind of got me intrigued. Um, I thought some of the costumes and some of the action looked fun. It, it did look kind of chaotic though throughout this entire trailer. But I think the biggest thing with this trailer for me that really did not work for me is it was very confusing. I watched the trailer three times and it feels very chopped up. And I know it's a trailer. I know it's supposed to be chopped up. But usually even within a trailer, you kind of can get a sense of who the characters are, or what the story is, or the, or, the, or the main motivation of this and that. This didn't really feel like it gave me any of that. It just felt like a montage of these chaotic situations happening one after the other. And I found it very disorienting a little bit as well. And I guess I'm going into my cons now. Um, I didn't really like Dakota Johnson. In this trailer, which I know is kind of weird to say because it's just a trailer, but there was like line delivery that felt very flat to me. I <laughs> had some really horrible, like like Sony Universe lines, like what, like she's talking about how oh this person was in the Amazon with my mom studying spiders before she died, and it's like it's all these kind of like shoehorned in Spider Man references and try to make it feel as much as Spider Man as you can. That's another thing about this trailer. I don't know how general audiences are going to feel about this trailer because I was watching this trailer and I was like, if I don't, I barely know anything about Madam Web. The only thing I really know about Madam Web is she appeared in a 90s Spider-Man cartoon once when I was like 10 years old that I watched <laughs> and people talk about her on the internet because her movie's coming out. So I've heard some things of what she can do and who she is. If I was a casual audience member just watching this trailer, like sitting down in the movie theater and this trailer plays, I couldn't tell you what this movie was. It kind of looks like Spider-Man went evil. And is going after this girl. But why is Spider-Man evil now going after this girl? This trailer doesn't really give context. This trailer doesn't really set the foundation of where you are, what's happening. It's it's I think it's a I think it's a bad trailer overall. I, I think just the presentation of the trailer was bad. But going back to some of the pros, I did kind of like some of the interaction between Dakota Johnson and her friends. I thought it was um it was kind of cool to get a glimpse of the spider woman that are going to be in this thing. Um, th their costumes look kind of fun, kind of cool. There was like an iron spider moment on, on the side of a building attacking the villain at one point. So like I said, the action kind of sells me. The premise of, of her going back in time and stopping events before they happen kind of played out in movies, but also kind of worked for me in this trailer. But the biggest thing about this trailer is that it did not up my excitement for this movie. The, the Sonyverse has just been such a mess to me. The Sonyverse has just been so disappointing. And I know not everyone feels that way. A lot of people love Venom. Some people like Morbius, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, this this was not the trailer that got me on board with the Sonyverse or this movie. Well, thank you very much for checking out this clip from our live show that we do every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time called Zach Milne Talks Live. If you like talking movies, if you like talking movie news, why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave? We do that on this channel all the time. But if you still need some time before you fully commit, you can check out the full video. This clip is from right here, and you can check out another video over here. The subscribe button's right here.